Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is Bartonella. Um, Bartonella is another thing that can be considered a co-infection of Lyme. It is a genus of gram-negative bacteria and a parasite. Um, and it's um, transmitted by um, vectors like fleas, sand fleas, and mosquitoes, also ticks. They, um, there are articles that say that this is found in ticks, but there's no evidence of it being transmitted to humans by ticks. Maybe that's true. I don't really know. I just know that um, I got a lot of other stuff from ticks, and they find it in ticks, and then they find it in human beings, like me. <laughs> so, um, and um, what this does is it enters your body and then sort of lives in your endothelial cells. And um, what the endothelial cells, what they are, is they live inside, they're like the lining of your blood vessels, so they're all over your body. And um, every five days, this is sort of released from the endothelial cells into your bloodstream and sort of travels throughout your body and through your organs and your brain and has a heyday. This uh, Bartonella is also known as cat scratch fever and that sort of makes sense to me now that I understand what an endothelial cell is because if a tick or a flea or a mosquito has bitten a cat and infected it um, and the cat scratches you, your endothelial cells are all over your body in your blood vessels and so if the scratch is deep enough it makes sense to me that um, then Bartonella could enter and live in your endothelial cells because the matter from the cat is transferred to you. So, Bartonella, another Lyme co-infection, or cat scratch fever. <laughs> I'm a nerd.